Hi guys, here Daniele. Today you are going to learn how to focus with your camera or manual or automatic and the different uh, settings about automatic focus. Yes, but uh, after a while. Ah. How to manual focus with your camera? If you are a beginner, you need to learn how to use your focus uh, before uh, shoot uh, your first picture. For uh, shooting a picture, you need a subject. The subject could be that object, or uh, could be a flower, or could be a monument, could be a car, could be an object that is moving or could be an object uh, motionless, like in a monument. First step, think about what would you like to shoot? What would you like to capture? For a picture motionless, it's better manual focus. Yes, but why? As the words say, manual focus is something that uh, you need to set up. For focus in or focus out, you need to move the ring uh, near the lens, near the zoom of your lens, or depends on if uh, you have just uh, a normal lens without a zoom, there is only a ring, or two rings uh, if uh, you have uh, a zoom out lens, for example. But uh, normally uh, you can see the smaller ring, uh, uh, that ring uh, will be your uh, focus ring. So if you rotate on the left, or on the right, uh, the focus change. So it's important, it's really important that you uh, just uh, moving your ring of focus more slowly uh, each time, because otherwise you can be super size. If you imagine a ball that is rolling to you, you realize that the ball quickly changes position. A while more distant, like 5 meters, for example, another while near to your feet, all in a few seconds. If you use manual focus, you will not able to correct uh, focus the ball if it is moving. Why? Not because you can't uh, rotate your ring or your focus, but uh, because you are not able to set up the correct uh, focus for the ball in that uh, particular position because the ball is far from you, is coming to you in, uh, in a while, so very fast. You don't know how to maintain focus at that ball that is rolling to you. That's why in uh, these cases we are going to use automatic focus. But if you are shooting a ball that is rolling horizontal, perpendicular to your camera, so the distance is uh, the same as constant, but uh, it's rolling uh, from the left to the right, you can use a manual focus, for example, because you know exactly where is the, the position of the ball, so you can set up, and the ball, even uh, is rolling from the left to the right, is always on, on the same focus position. So, uh, if uh, you imagine, I don't know if uh, you can see, I hope, you imagine a line, from you and the ball, you can realize uh, that uh, more far the ball is uh, from you and more uh, you have to rotate on the left to infinity, more it's far, more it must be rotated to the left. If the ball is coming to you, you have just to rotate the, the ring to the right. Of course, you can use manual focus uh, for shooting something that is uh, moving not so fast. For example, someone that is walking very slowly. But uh, in the case if it, there is something like uh, a seagull, a bird, that is flying, so it's changing the position from uh, you and him so fast, Maybe one second it's uh, five meters from you, uh, another second it's over your head. So, in that case, it's impossible to change the focus. In that case, uh, uh, you are just 
put your autofocus and you add different uh, setups for autofocus. If you are using a modern DSLR, you will have different points of autofocus. For example, these many points uh, are focal points, are taking each subject that is moving in that place and they are maintaining focusing at the same time. So, for example, for oh, let me explain better. If you are uh, shooting a picture in a ballroom, for example, where uh, there are many people dancing, uh, probably each person are uh, one more uh, near for you, one more uh, far from you, and they are dancing, so they are continually changing each second the position, you can use autofocus and with modern camera you can just uh, freeze these people in that moment and shooting a perfect picture. Of course, if the light is good, because uh, if the light is not good, uh, the problem is that the autofocus can't uh, read what is happening. So, must be light. If there is no light, it's not a good idea using autofocus. So, in a dark room, autofocus is the most stupid things that you can use. There are three modes of autofocus. Autofocus automatic, AFA, autofocus continuous, AFC, autofocus single area, AFS, understanding autofocus automatic. You have to imagine uh, there are different uh, setups of autofocus and the camera decides in that particular moment that it's better use uh, continuous autofocus or single area autofocus. So it selects uh, what is better for, uh, for it. It's the choice of uh, the camera. It's not yours because uh, you are letting the camera working for you. See the people that are dancing, see what is happening in that moment and understand uh, how to set up different settings of autofocus. Then uh, it will automatically use uh, uh, AFC, the object is moving, uh, continuous, or uh, just uh, focus single error if the object is uh, just uh, stationary, so it's, uh, it's uh, motionless, uh, it change uh, the settings for you. So, AFS single area, autofocus single area, I told you now, uh, that is something that uh, you can use when the subject uh, is motionless. So, a monument, are you shooting a monument, are you shooting um, a flower? Or are you shooting just uh, an object over your table, for example? Then there is continuous, and uh, we talked about, when I was talking about autofocus automatic, that is uh, something that maintains the object, continually focus it, all the time you are pushing the button. Sometimes it's called uh, servo. It's good when you are photographing moving objects. When your camera is uh, set up in AFC and you focus uh, on a moving subject, for example the ball rolling uh, towards you, the focus will stay on the ball. So long as you shutter, button is held halfway down. For all the time that you are pushing half button, not all the button, because if you push in deep, it shoots a picture. But if you are half pushing the button, the camera focus, automatic focus the object that you are shooting. For all this time, in continuous, the camera focusing the object that is moving around you like uh, the ball, or like a car, or like a runner, something that is moving, has changed its position, you will continue to focus that subject, more precisely, uh, for all the time you push that button. When you push deep, the picture is shooted, and uh, that means the, the picture will be not moved, we hope. <laughs> sometimes something go wrong. So now you have uh, an idea 
how works manual focus and uh, automatic focus or auto focus. Now you have to just realize, just think about how to use these settings. I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, if you liked thumb ups or comment below if you have any questions. And uh, here you can see my my video about before, about the dolls, the creepy dolls. Uh, if you click, you can go to the link directly and see the full video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you next time with another tutorial about uh, photography. Maybe uh, shutter speed. I don't know, I have to think about I think it uh, will be shutter speed. And as always, thanks for watching. See you, bye!